Hello everyone, welcome back to an episode of Salty Ons Reviews. And in today's episode we are going to be looking at uh, Many Hands Make Light Work Products. Uh, it's called Gentleman's Hardware. I do not know what it is properly called. So in the title it will be both. I'm guessing it's one of the two. But uh, today we will be looking at the Pen Knife Multi-Tool, the Wrench Multi-Tool, and the hit it for six multi-tool hammer. First we'll start off with the pen knife. Let me show you what it looks like opened. This should not be taken as hard. All right, I actually opened this earlier, but I, I had an earlier copy of this video, but I had to scrap it. So this is what it looks like coming out of the box. It has a beautiful wood handle, I say. Okay. <laughs> it has a beautiful wood handle. As you can see, it has a beautiful wooden handle. I thought it was a little bit light, but I thought it was a little bit loose. It feels a little bit loose, but that's probably because I did drop the box a few times. I think I can just uh, find a proper screw and tighten it up. That's my thing. On the back, it says it has a can opener, 3mm flathead screwdriver, a knife corkscrew, nail file bottle opener, and a 5mm flathead screwdriver. Oops. <laughs> So let's just uh, open up the tool and see what we got. So as you can see right here is a way to open, actually open up the corkscrew uh, by having this thing above it that's also a bit of a file. You could see that on camera. I have no idea if you can, but it's a bit of a file under it. So that's like a secondary file. Sorry, a uh, message popped up. But uh, right here would be the nail file. Right here would be the two screwdrivers and the can opener. I'm guessing this might be the can opener and this is the bottle opener. I think so. Right here's the knife. So all in all, this is a definitely I, I like it. Like I said, I did drop the box a few times, so I think that's the reason why this is slightly bit wobbly, but I do have proper screws to properly tighten it all, so that's good. All in all, I think it's a nice small tool and a nice gift for a beginner knife, I say. If you like say, here's a small pocket knife, take it easy. Next, we will... Next, we are moving on to the wrench multi-tool. As you can see, this is what it looks like coming out of the box. Once again, beautiful wooden handle finish, and I'm guessing the company is called Gentleman's Hardware. Let's look at the box back real quick. It has a adjustable wrench, Phillips screwdriver, serrated knife, a file, a can opener, a five times hex wrench, four millimeter to eight millimeter bottle opener, and a saw. So definitely all in all, a very interesting product with a beautiful wooden handle. Let's get this thing out of the box. Back has this thing. Got this for that. Easier than trying to open up the pen knife. Yep, uh, I didn't drop this one as much, so definitely the handles are much firmer in place. I think that was the problem with the pen knife. All in all, definitely, I like it. 
Nice adjustable wrench. Right here would be the saw. The file. Right here is the I see right here is the saw, right here is the file with the double edged. Little doggo on the move. Uh, here would be the long flathead screwdriver. Then here is where everything else would be, such as the bottle, the can opener, the miniature can opener, a serrated knife, but I'm not sure how the well to use that, and the hex. Uh, the hex screwdriver and I believe a bottle opener down here. All in all, I definitely like this. Um, I do like this. It definitely is well made. I will definitely say that for a small workshop, uh, this could definitely, if this, I could definitely say for a small workbench or a small toolkit, this would definitely be a handy tool to have. Can definitely get rid of a few tools, but. Obviously, I would say have a proper tool for everything. This would, I'd say this is more of an emergency tool, like a quick repair, not a lifelong tool to use. But all in all, I would recommend it for small toolkits, like a, the small emergency toolkits in the back of your car or something like that. But I say you should have a proper toolkit in your car, but that'd get pretty expensive. And last but not least is the Hit It for six, six and one hammer. Here's what it looks like out of the box. And this one does not have it. Have a, have a thing to keep it in. So that is nice. We'll keep that out for a second. Let's look at the back. It has a, obviously a hammer, screwdrivers and different attachments. Let's read the top six and one hammer tool, the ultimate tool for big and small tasks at hand, two flathead screwdrivers, two crosshead screwdrivers, ned, uh, nested in the handle of the claw hammer, ideal for hammering those nails or tightening those eyeglasses. Great job. Good job. <laughs> job done. I mean, <laughs> let's get to actually opening this thing up. Big hammer, I mean big screwdriver, and I believe down here is where the rest of the items are. Oh, and then oh, that's cool. So right here, so in total, it goes like this. This is makes one part. This goes in like here. Then one will go inside of it, and this is the butt of it. But inside of the butt of the miniature screwdriver, of the mini flathead screwdriver, is one of those small screwdrivers for uh, eyeglasses repair. So it, I definitely say this could definitely get rid of the need to buy an eyeglass repair kit. Uh, but if you have glasses, you obviously already have probably a small screwdriver like this. But if you don't and you just need to get glasses for some reason, this would definitely be able to help you. Does make a bit of a noise, but obviously it's just a cavity in there, so. I definitely say it does have a nice, good, small grip to it. I say the head feels pretty solid, everything's the head of uh, this part of the hammer seems to be all one piece uh so i definitely say that is a bonus uh the little bit of the wobbling sound comes from comes from that being inside of this part of the screw being part of this part of the screwdriver obviously if you get rid of this item It no longer makes the noise, so you can either keep it in or keep it out. I would probably wish to keep it in for my sake, because I fear I would lose it. If not, obviously up to you. If you have a small repair, if you have like a toolkit where you can properly keep everything, keep it in there. All 
all in all, I say these products are definitely good for a small repair kit. It could definitely get rid of some of the items in small, like I say, you can get all three of these for small repair kits and it'll definitely be very useful. Uh, this would probably be like a good party thing. I mean, just uh, need to cut open the wax thing on a bottle of alcohol, corkscrew, get it open, you know. Oh, looks like there was... Wait a quick second, I think there was one more part of this that I did not recognize. Where is it? What is that? Interesting. For some reason on the box it says there's another tool on this. But as far as I can tell, there is no other tool. Interesting. Uh, maybe just a misprint or something like that. I don't know. Either way. I definitely do like these products. I would say these would be a worthwhile investment but if obviously i would not say get use get buy these to replace the good old trusty hammer that the family's been having for generations i would say definitely uh use them as like a small hammer thing you know what i mean like for small projects for small items and such for small repairs nothing major obviously that's where you want to get your big proper beefy tools from craftsman stanley and such so thank you all for joining me on this episode of Salty Island's Reviews. I don't know what that was for. Um, the dog's a little bit defensive. Uh, thank you all for coming. Please like, comment, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Uh, that will definitely help me get out there more. Uh, have a great day now. See you at Salty Island's Reviews signing off.